Welcome to Windows on the World. We've done a couple of short videos recently. One was called Brian Cox, Climate Fraud Conspiracy Theorist, which referred to his debate, if you can call it that, with Malcolm Roberts, which really was a hit piece against Malcolm Roberts, who's an Australian senator, who actually confronted Brian Cox on some of the statistics that he was using and the graphs, which, as we've shown before, have proved to be fraudulent. This is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, who are putting out data that's based on models and projections. So we've put up one recently called uh, Brian Cox Climate Fraud Matters, and this refers to a series of talks, a, in fact a tour, as they're referring to it, uh, by the Royal Society. And Brian Cox is now a professor for public engagement for science, and they're using him as a poster boy for the man-made global warming or climate change agenda and he's obviously not very aware of what the bigger implications of this agenda are because he was at a, a talk in Reading last week and they were also discussing geoengineering so they're bringing in a lot of things into this that they're trying to get the young people or younger people to accept as normal especially the climate change and carbon dioxide agenda. So I'm with Piers Corbyn and we're just going to do a follow-up because many people have actually asked for a debate between Piers and Brian Cox. <laughs> Whether this will ever happen, we don't know. But Piers, welcome back. Well, welcome. Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, a debate with Brian Cox? No, I would love it. And I would hereby formally challenge Brian Cox to have a debate with me uh, and others on evidence for the so-called theory of man-made climate change. And I would say on the way things are proceeding, uh, it's disappointing how anti-scientific his presentations are. Um, uh, but against that, we've had the good news of our own Climate Challenge Conference in Conway Hall, yeah. which was very successful. Um, and a more recent event is somewhat worrying in that the Global Warming Policy Foundation held a meeting this time in the Royal Society, with a number of empty seats, it has to be said, um, where one wonders, were they being pressured by the Royal Society to cool down a bit? Because at this meeting they were more lukewarmist than they normally have been. I mean, we know the GWPF is not a scientific body as such, it's about policy, which is fair enough, and you know, I welcome greatly a lot of their their, their inputs. Um, but the talk g given by Matt Ridley was very lukewarmist, i.e., oh, there is some effect or maybe some effect, you know, of man, when of course, you know, in reality, you know, there's no So you no think effect. that they're being brought under the group consensus? Well, uh, possibly, or wanting to be under the group consensus. Yeah. And the other thing is they didn't talk about Clexit, the campaign um, to leave uh, uh, climate um, agreements around the world. Now that is, it must be a very important thing. And quite soon Weather Action and others are going to be holding a few meetings where we're going to be promoting Clexit, which will be an international organisation, and spelling out you know, very, very clearly how there is no evidence whatsoever for man-made climate change. And we challenge again, Brian Cox, come forth and have a scientific debate. And also we need to put over this information about the climate conference again, which was people who had contributed previously to the IPCC, very well respected scientists, not a bunch of fringe lunatics as they may have been referred to by UCL who threw them out. That's one of right, their own they threw us out. Yep, yep, one yep. of their own professors actually booked the room there Mm -hmm. and then went to Conway Hall, and Conway Hall never put it on the website. So this is controlling the narrative. And what we're seeing here is this guy, Brian Cox, being put in as a poster boy mm -hmm. because they say, the rock star scientist. I mean, the whole thing's ridiculous, mm -hmm. the way it's being presented. Yeah, I... But it's being presented in a pop culture way, and he's getting up and saying that, that man-made climate change is real and we have to address it. Mm. And this, and so this is, these are closed statements, aren't they? They are closed statements, and I think it's interesting that the situation is like it's becoming more polarised rather than less. You know, you think, well, he doesn't want to talk to people like me and others who've done research and can actually predict the weather and actually 
say in advance when there's going to be earth-facing coronal holes and accelerated activity of tropical storms and heavy rainfall and all this stuff, right? We can actually predict that. They don't care a damn. They don't want to predict it. But what they're doing is putting forward an agenda which is what the Wall Street corporate multinationals want. You see, talk about geoengineering, giant wind farms all over the world and stuff like that. That is big, big, big. Big business stuff. Well, that's all it's and about, isn't it? And that is what it is all about. And the, you know, green lobby that have been brought along on that and have been selling it are being conned totally. Well, we've covered all this in previous shows Indeed. and there's plenty of stuff on the internet about it and the, the seeds of doubt have been sown for some time and actually the proof has now been put out there as well that there's... A, a big agenda behind this which is not in the public interest and it's, pr it's propagated by people who really need this lie to succeed because it's their gravy train and it's their control system now what That's the right. thing is with people like Brian Cox is without being too detrimental to him he's being used as a useful idiot and a plaything of these people in my opinion well that's right I mean as a supposed proper scientist it's disgraceful that he propagates stuff like this which is anti-science and anti-evidence well he's all over the bbc and we know where they are on this so we do. this is the thing people can get easily co-opted into this it's 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 very glamorous they're, they're getting quite a lot of money out of it presumably he's a poster boy so it's flattering his ego but really what we should get him to do is do some real research and mm. listen to the other side so brian cox if you're listening do some research that's it from windows on the world and we're waiting for that debate with you and peers so brian if you can email me through windows on the world we'll get in touch with you and we'll have an open debate that's it for now see you soon